Hi guys, uh, this episode is a bit different to other episodes. I'm purely having fun. One of my friends told me that I'm, I look so serious in the video, but trust me, I'm having fun, a lot of fun. This is an alarm clock I'm building, but as you can see, it's not an ordinary alarm clock. It's a GTFO themed alarm clock. Uh, by the way, if you like to follow this project, you can subscribe on the Fun Incomplete channel. And also, if you like this video, please give a thumb up. I also have a blog site about this project. And if people like it, I'll, I'll add more information. If you're watching this video, you might already know what GTA 4 is about. It's a hardcore corp action horror game. And it's a little bit different to other games where you have to discuss with other player, come up with a plan to survive. It's almost like a work meeting. Don't like our burn rate of uh, resources at the moment. No. Uh, oh, have you got it? Uh, have you got it plotted on the whiteboard behind you? Then, yeah. Mm. Hey, guys, go. Uh, uh, burn rate of resources basically. bad. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm zero What's new? century now. What? What? Thing here. Anyone want to stream? Yeah, I can do that, mate. I've got uh, plenty of okay. bandwidth to give you. And this is a most common monster called Striker you can find everywhere in the game. It's it's sleeping most of the time like a koala bear. It looks like a koala bear too. And it makes a noise like a, like a koala bear. It's a koala bear. I think what really makes this monster special is the rules around its behaviors. They're usually sleeping and harmless, but um, they are sensitive to light and sound. And by the way, this is a male version of a monster, and there's an equal number of female monsters in the game. And maybe I shouldn't call them monsters because they used to be people walking a site probably. And that means they used to have 50-50 gender diversity in a mining operation, which is great if you, if you care about that kind of thing. The monster does not wake up straight away. It uh, gives you a bit of warnings. but. If the monster detects motion after detecting sound or light, it eventually gets agitated and wakes up. And when it wakes up, it's gonna alert nearby monsters and the quiet situation gets ugly very, very quickly. Two, right? Oh, three, four, okay. I'll get, I'll get number two, I'll get number two, next attacker. Okay. Ah, oh, it's too late. Oh, fuck, someone. That's why player have to use this Player have to use this mullet to kill monsters one by one quietly. By the way, this is a second prototype. Uh, what happened to the first prototype? The first prototype being hammered uh, quite many times, and the poor guy got. Arms. Maybe I can I can patch him up. Okay. How about that? So yeah, this was the fast prototype and um, was hammered quite a lot of times. Okay, now, now he has arm. Anyway, what does he have? He has sound sensor there, so that's why it keeps on waking up. And he has a motion sensor there, and also a button inside his neck, uh, so that I can press. And a couple of LED lights, white and red in there. Ah, oh, and, and there's a light sensor there to detect light, which I can maybe demonstrate right now.
And this guy also has a speaker inside this to refill box to express his anger. Ah, oh, the alarm clock feature. I program so that I can demonstrate alarm about a minute away from now by pressing this button. So I'll press this button now. And hopefully you can see Scout on LCD screen, which means alarm is set. And the Scout will scream to wake this guy up in a minute. Scout, by the way, is another GTF or iconic monster, uh, which walks around and find player to wake other sleepers up, which I thought is perfect for for alarm clock. Uh, boring side of things, I'm using Raspberry Pi Zero to control this device and Pi Python with Pi Game library to program all this. And I, I use GTA 4 theme this time, but you could use any other theme to create this kind of alarm clock. Maybe you can use a cute quality, I don't know. Uh, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow this project and please give a thumb up if you if you like this video. Thanks for watching and arigatou gozaimashita.